friends welcome once again this is what we want to talk about today this how to get your ruffles without using gather stitch you do not necessarily need gather stitch to make these ruffles and i want to show you how to go about it so i want to make a demo on these three slits which i have here if in case you don't know how to get your to cut out this you will need about one yard or more it depends on what you want to make all you need to do is just go ahead you can see the edge of the of the net the two end part of your net so you're just going to place it on the table like this and cut it out it depends on how many inches you want to cut out what i have, have here is about two and half inches that is what i have here so all you need to do is just to place it on your table and cut out so this is what i want to use for my demo you can still see this other one so that one is somehow not enough but this one i just want to use this i have already made what i want i decided to leave this for show you to show you how to go about it so you just go ahead and cut what you want out just like this you can see how they look okay so i want to cl clarify you on how to go about this you can see yeah, now i now want to show you through this white so imagine you this is your net now which you want to cut this is not trying to be perfect about your cutting i just want to let you know all you need to do is to get the amount of what you want the amount of what you want if you want it to be three inches two and a half two 3.54 it depends on how wide you want yours to be so let me say i want to make use of this three inches now let me say i want to make use of this three inches this is how we are going to cut it down you don't have to be perfect you will try your best to make it straight when cutting just try your best to keep it straight it's not about perfection when cutting this but try your best to keep it straight when cutting you don't rush it when cutting out so you can see this is one out of many which you are going to cut it depends on how you want yours to full or how many the amount you want it to be so it's just exactly what you need now so once you have yours like this cut out like this I will go ahead and show you how to sew it without using your gather stitch. So let's go to our working machine now to do the, the needed what is supposed to be done. Okay, so I want to use this thread thread just to run on this stitch. Make sure you use your machine thread. I'm just showing you on how to sew it. So this is the white which I cut out. I'll show you on how to cut it out. So what you will do is to put it on your machine just like this and you press down, put your stitch down, make sure your stitch is always inside your net. So what you are going to do next is to pull in. If you want to make it, what I want to do now, I want it to be full for this part. So all you need to do now is to pull in. Just make sure you pull in until your foot is full. When your foot is full, then you run your stitch. Then you stop. You pull in, pull in, pull in, pull in, just like this, pull in. And when it gets to the fullness of your foot, then you sew. Then you stop again. Pull in, pull in, pull in. Pull them in until it gets to the fullness of your foot. Then you stop, run again. This is how to make it full. If you want it to be full for your work, this is how you go about it to make it full. Make sure it is tight. You pull in, pull in, pull them in, pull them in, pull them in until it fulls your foot. Then move. Pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. Pull this one in. Pull this in. So you can see this is the step one of what we are going to make. So this is the step one. So you can see how full it, it looks. You are going to make this as many as you want for what you want to make. But this takes a lot of net when we need it to be full. After you are done, that is where after sewing it, I'll show you how to sew it. So make sure you stay tuned. 
to know how to sew it on your cloth so that you don't get confused when doing it. So let's move on over to step two. So this is step two. This is what I want to use for our step two. Now how to make your step two. All you need to do is the same process when starting it. Put it downward. Put your put your stitches on it like that. Your step two. You just put it in a bit round. Put it in a bit. Don't push it in much. Then you run. Make sure you just do like that. Don't push it in much. Then you run. You can see. You can see the other one will take too much time to push and push and push. In. But this one just push it in a little bit. Then you run. Because you don't want it to be much to be fuller or to be full as the first one. Depends on how you want it to be to slab. So after this, I still have this step two. This is step two on how to go about this. So let me complete it and show you how it looks. So you can be able to finish it. Just push in a little bit to stitch. Push in a bit to stitch. So let's go to step three. And what you should take note when sewing your roughing, what you should take note is you always cut this out. Always. This is our step three you want to make now. Always cut this out. This is your end, you should. This on your place or your net rather. Always cut it out. And when it comes to this one, this stitch will be freer. This so one you are pulling it in as you as you sew. That's what I'm doing. So you can see as you sew, put it in the pull as you sew. Go to our work table. Oh, so, so you can see now what we made from this step one, step two, and step three. So what I want to show you next is how to continue your stitch once you have sewn to this end. Now how to continue your stitch. So we are still going to make use of this step one to show you how to continue your stitch. We are still going to use the same method for all of this to continue your stitch with this part now after you are done with this. So let me go ahead to show you. It is very easy. Then we end it right. So I want to take it up to here we end it. So you need to cut it off as I told you the last time. It, from start to your finish, always trim out the excess here. So what we will do now is to put it again. It should be close again to where you were stitching. Then continue your stitch like that. Continue it like that. If you want to use step one, go ahead and use the step one the same way to continue your stitch from that. Continue your stitch just like that. Same way, same method. 
So this is it, you can see, after joining my second one, you can see you cannot find the place which you put together, which I continued for, you cannot find it, take a look, you cannot find it, apart from that thread that is there, if I cut it off now, you cannot see anything, so it is invisible, you cannot see anything, so what I made for what I want to show now, I use step 2 to make my own ruffles. So let me go ahead to show you how to fix it. As I told you, it is very, very important to know how to fix it also. So let me go ahead to show you on how to fix it. Okay, so I don't want you to get confused. So I want to use this to show you how to go about it. I want to use this marionette here now to show you on how to go about it. So all you need to do now, it is very important to know how to fix it. So let me say this is my net or the fabric you are working with this is the fabric you are working with and this is your rough foot so all you need to do now you make sure you get your point which you sew and place it on your fabric like this then you sew when sewing make sure it is going in line because sometimes it might twist it might twist like this bring it back to the exact front which you want then sew on the line to the stitching then at this one you will be the one to direct it which shape you want this to hold on which curve it is a straight line just like mine you go ahead and fix it straight line like this you can see it is twisting after you have made a lot of this they will twist go ahead and bring them is the exact line which we stitch when for doing our ruffles. You can use the either way to fold it does not matter. It must not be that front which we use for our stitch. It must be, it may be the underside. For what I'm trying to tell you is that it must be straight when sewing on your fabric. You must make sure it is not straight when applying it on the fabric. It must be straight like this. Let me go ahead and complete this and show you how to do the other. So when we are done with this one, now you tell you I have to put the white in the middle of it, in the midst of it. So all you need to do now is to continue from where it stops. Remember how we fix it when joining the other one together that is how we are still going to join this one together and make sure you are sewing on top of your stitch make sure it is not stitched it is not twisted because this is the first layer which we use so when you get close to the end where it is close to your end you apply the other one again Make sure there is no allowance, there is no space between the one to stop and the one you are putting. So you can see it is twisting. Make sure you put it in place. Make sure it is at the right part when sewing. So with this you can hardly differentiate where it stops. Or the white in the middle and continue with this. So this is the third, the second part, the second stage which we did that is what I'm putting now. So what I am going to do, if I want to put it on blouse, so it will be difficult for you to understand how to do it because of the way I will go about it, but I will use the same process to fix it. I want it to be easier for you to understand. So when I'm done fixing for the blouse and I'll show you everything. So this is it, this is what so you can see the combination of what we made. 
can see how it looks. So when you are done, then you can go ahead to scatter your tools. Scatter your rough tools. Go ahead to scatter it. So here we are, you can see, you can see this is the first stage which we use, second stage and the third stage. So you can see in case you want to also combine with different colors of thread, make sure you are using your mashed thread to sew. This is just an illustration. Make sure your thread is mashing anytime you want to sew. So this is how you go about it. So let me go ahead to fix it on the blouse and show you how it looks on the blouse. Okay, so you can see I have put it on the front of what I want to make as you can see. So this one is the one that is left and I don't want it to remain, it remains if it needs to be little. So I want to still put it on top of it. So I want to show you that it is possible to still put it on top of this. So you are still going to follow your, the same process. Anyone that is twisting, make sure you arrange it, put it in place and follow the exact same line which you uh, uh, so there. That is the exact same line I'm going to follow. So anything you are making, you follow your exact same line. Make sure it is not going off from that line. If it is twisting, you bring it back to arrange it. So let me go ahead and put it and come and show you how it's the final look. So you can see the finished work of what we have been making. You can see what I showed you as an example, and you can see how I apply this. As I told you, I stitch on top of it. This is double now. So my net was, it was still remaining, so I decided to put it at the back. You can do something with yours, you can do any design of your choice. You can be creative with this. Your, this your office, so you can see how it looks now. After I don't know if it's cut out, you can see you cannot see the thread which I stitch on it with. Open closely, you will see your thread. So, this is it. In case you don't know how to sew your sleeve, I have a video on how to sew this sleeve. You can see how it looks. This sleeve is also nice and beautiful. So, go ahead and check the description box. I will put the link down below on how to make your sleeve. And how I went ahead to make this blouse, you see, see on how to cut it and how to sew it. So this is the complete video on how to make this blouse. You see it there. So just go ahead and do something nice, something splendid for yourself and for your friends, your customer, your clients, your brother, your sisters. I say brother, sorry. <laughs> you can go ahead to make it for your brother if you want. So just go ahead and do it. So thank you everyone as always. Remain blessed.